My name is Mike Welch. On my left, John Petrozelli on lute. On my right, Mike Hager on fiddle, on um, mandolin, and on bones, real live bones. Is Mike Hager. Real dead bones. But they're dead, dead bones. <laughs> the man that is drunk is void of all care. La 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 The Moor's poison dart he scorns for to wield His bottle alone is his sword and his shield Ba la 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 ba la 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 The most poison dart he scorns for to yield His bottle alone is his sword and his heel La 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 so we're at the American Independence Museum's Folsom Tavern, and the tavern was uh, built in 1775. It was actually across town in Exeter, and one of the things the tavern was known for was to be a place for merriment and enjoyment, for people to get together, gather, sing songs, talk about government, politics, and daily life. And so that's what we're doing tonight, and another night in October, on October 20th, at Beer for History is to try to celebrate each other and have a lot of fun together and have some good conversation and try some really tasty brews at the same time. Fill every glass for wine inspires us and fires us with courage, love and joy. Fill every glass for wine inspires us and fires us with courage, love and joy. Oh, women and wine should life employ. Is there all else on earth?
My name is Zip. I'm the intern at Neighborhood Beer Company. So today we have the Obstinate Goat with us, which is a medieval beer, a 7.1 strong ale. And our favorite beer is actually called the Junkyard Pedigree. We created a Doppelstick and Alt, which is a beautiful combination of malty and hoppy. We are nine months old. We focus primarily on German beer with an American twist. So we do such styles as Dom, Schwartz, Alts, Doppelstick. And then there's a crazy one called Dunkel Weiss and Doppelbach. So we go through all types of fun and exciting new brewer, brew styles here at the Neighborhood Beer Company. Um, we were invited to Beer for History so we could uh, represent our medieval style beers. Earlier in the summer, we created a Baroque Butterfly, which was a very light, sour beer, very refreshing and a perfect summertime drink. When we want to make a historic beer, we start with the research. We go through old texts, and this beer actually came from a Latin text that was translated because in Germany, fires destroyed much of the uh, Ernbeck beer, or the Erbach. So when we start with a historical beer, the first thing we do is accuracy. We want to start and make sure it's an authentic, old-style beer that we can bring to have everyone try and enjoy. Same with the butterfly. We actually have to get special types of grain that are floor malted in, or air dried. There are certain different styles that really can drastically change the flavor of the beer. And when it comes to the beer, we have a four barrel brewing system, which also has four vessels. So we have a mash tun, where we put the grain in. We have a louder tun, which creates a grain bed and circulates the beer through, which is where we get our wort from. And then we have a kettle. And the kettle is where you boil the beer and add the hops to create that aroma. And then once it's done in the kettle, we actually transfer it to the whirlpool, which spins it at a high rate and uh, cools the liquid down from 215 to about 190 in about 30 seconds. And then after that, we just ship it to the fermenter and Looks like I have a customer who wants some beer. He wants some yeah. Austin and Ghost, sir. They're both the same. Yeah. So this is a medieval style beer from the 14th. Yeah. Yep. So it's a strong ale, seven one. I'm Becker Erbach beer is what it's called. Very old school. Um, slightly hoppy, citrusy notes, and I think we're the smoothest bodies right here. Here you are, sir. Enjoy. Yes, we are. We're actually right up over there on 27. You drive all the way down toward uh, the Jaguar dealership at exit 9 on 101 East. We are right to the left of it. We've been open nine months. We, yeah, so very small. We have a four barrel system, so we're very little, but we have a kitchen. We serve gourmet food. Yep. So, yeah. Do you have a card? I don't, sadly. I don't, I'm, I'm, the intern. I'm the intern, so I don't get a card yet. There you go. Yeah. So they're on 27, right near the Jaguar. Absolutely. And that's the name of the company. Neighborhood Beer Company. That's us. All right. Come by. Very good. Thank you, sir. To be. Well, I care for nobody, no, not I, if nobody cares for me. When spring begins, and when his career, his heart grows glad today. No summer drought alarms us here, no winter bad decay. No force and Mars, the millet's joy, who's want to sing and say, Let all this toil from year to year, I live from day to day. Like the miller bold and free, let us rejoice and sing. The days of youth are made for glee, and time is on the wing. This song shall pass from me to thee, along this jovial ring. Let heart and voice and all agree, say on, long live the king. Let heart and voice and all agree to say, long live the king.
sage rose bearing time. Remember me to the one who lived there. She was once a true love of mine. Tell her to make me a cambric shirt. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme Without no seam or needlework Then she'll be a true love of mine Find me an acre of land, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Between the salt water and the sea strand, then she'll be the true love of mine. with a sickle of leather Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme I'd gather it all in a bunch of leather And then she'll be a true love of mine She'll be a true love of mine. Uh, my name's Rob, and I'm the operations manager at the American Independence Museum. Uh, the Beer for History is um, a cool concept that we came up with together uh, as a way to um, interest people in what we're doing here. Uh, so it's one thing to just talk about the cool collection we have, um, but that doesn't necessarily entice people. So we thought Beer for History, uh, connecting um, uh, the love of uh, beer that people have on the seacoast uh, with the history we have here, we thought it was a good marriage, and uh, we're very excited about it. How's the turnout so far? Uh, the turnout so far, the first one was really awesome. We had about 100 people, and a lot of folks who came here had never been to the museum. So, you know, mission one was accomplished. We want people to have fun and to associate the, the museum with having a good time. And then at least if a certain portion of those folks want to check out what we're doing um, with our collection, see what's happening in the tavern here itself, um, that's even cooler. So I think um, initially we're very uh, excited about the turnout and uh, uh, the sort of interest um, and awareness that we've raised about the museum uh, through the Beer for, um, Beer for History. And I hear there's uh, another event coming up soon, right? Yeah, we have one October 20th. We wanted to take off the summer. There's all kinds of different stuff happening in the summer. So in October, we'll sort of shift indoors and we'll have you know some stuff outside, but we'll really look at using the space inside uh, the tavern. Uh, super historical, George Washington uh, ate here, which is really cool. So you can have a beer where George Washington had something to eat, maybe he had something to drink there too, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's super historical and it's just a beautiful space too. And Exeter is a really neat town that some people don't know a lot about so uh, you know we, we want people to just get Exeter um, on the you know on the radar um, you know for what they want to do this summer so it's it's been really cool
Pull for pokes of this nonsense I try to give o'er. Talk of your Phyllis and your Chloe no more. Their face and their mane and their mane would all rout. Here's to thee, my lad. Push the bottle about. Here's to thee, my lad.